And that was Nick Kershaw from the Wembley Stadium in London. And now here in Hong Kong, we take a short break for our news file, but of course stay with us on the Pearl because coming up are Billy Ocean, Black Sabbath, Phil Collins, Julian Lennon, Sting, and lots more, right? Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's about time for us to go off first. Uh, that was a surprise thing from Cool and the Gang, so we'll see what other surprise guests we have coming up in a very short while. Here comes News File. Hey, Ryan. <laughs> Seiko time. Hi, back to us again. And uh, well, what do you think of Black Sabbath? Ozzy Osbourne, huh? I think he probably thinks he's the uh, Liberace of rock. Oh, come and roll. on, Deborah. You want to marry him? We can <laughs> no, tell. No, uh, no, no. By no. the way, we've just gotten an a angry phone call saying, again. "Tell Keith that that information <laughs> came from Telex about the Soviet Union." I'm sorry. We got it off a Telex sheet just like this, and we'd like to thank the Telex people for sending us all this very interesting information. Mm -hmm. In fact, here's some more invitation. Now, according to Rex Ray, an employee of Claire Brothers Audio, he says, I don't think you'll have any trouble hearing it from as far as two miles away. Now, he's talking about the JFK Stadium. Isn't that incredible? They have, what, how, how many, how many, 95 speakers or something blasting around? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to go back to, who are we going back to now? I can't even tell. This is uh, Ozzy Osbourne again? He's still singing, so why don't we go back to him. The eyeshadow man. Boy, non-stop music, and that was the four tops in old Motown sound. Aren't they great? Mm, wonderful, and before that was Sting and Phil Collins. Absolutely mm. brilliant. Motown, the kind of music my, my parents used to dance to. No, 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 no. I think they're great and wonderful. And coming up in the fifth hour, which is 11 p.m. onwards, who do we have, Deborah? Well, we have uh, Brian, Brian Ferry. Ferry, Judas Priest, Alison Moyet. The great big Alison Moyet. And a couple of more celebrity yeah. messages. Now, we were supposed to have Julian Lennon coming on in the fourth hour, and uh, maybe he's late. We're not sure where he is. But hopefully he will come on in the fifth hour. And uh, as you can see, they keep having surprise guests that we know absolutely nothing about. So let's quickly go back to the satellite broadcast now. <laughs> well. <Whoa. laughs> but however, Deborah does get the next Idiot of the Hour award. Deborah, why? Earlier I said that Brian Ferry was with Roxy Music. Well, he's left Roxy Music a long time ago. And, and as you can see, we've had some uh, satellite problems, but we'll go right back to broadcast now. Right now. I think. Let's take a look. Let's have a look. Wow. Brian Ferry, one of John Lennon's uh, greatest songs, Jealous Sky. Now, I must explain about the uh, earlier um, uh, fiasco. It wasn't one of TVB's mistakes. It's something with the uh, satellite. Now, I think, Keith, you have to explain to the audience about how Hong Kong is actually receiving this program. Yes. Now, apparently, the calls are still coming into our PR department, and there are some very very angry people who want to know what the heck is TVB doing jumping from Holland to the Soviet Union to Philadelphia and only giving us bits and pieces of songs. Well, as a matter of fact, this is how the satellite relay is going. Mm -hmm. They're using something like seven satellites circling the globe and we're giving you the satellite broadcast exactly as it is being received in Hong Kong. So TVB is not cutting it up from Belgium or from Holland to the Soviet Union. That's not how it goes. We're just uh -huh. giving it to you straight. So coming up now, we're going to have a short break, and then we'll have our news roundup. And then it's back to lots of other great uh, performers, including... Uh, Brian Ju Adams. Julian Lennon, not yet. Brian Adams. Mm, Alison here. Moyet. Judas mm. Priest. Lots, lots, lots more. So let's see what the latest news is from around the world now. As much fun as we are here, we have executives down here having a party. <laughs> we've, we've been chatting with the uh, public relations department upstairs and telling us about all these calls we're getting in complaints about Deborah Knight. No, no, no complaints, no complaints. Okay, well, coming up next, uh, ah. Is Paul Young, one of my favorite British singers, and Alison Moyet. So let's go straight to London, shall we? Okay. Well, there we have a satellite break. Yeah. Isn't she an Eastern sweet? What oh, a cutie. very, what absolutely. A cutie, yeah. Well, we're taking, uh, this is a short saddle br satellite break now. Keith. In which time, <laughs> sorry, blah, 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 we're going to come back to Brian Adams, who uh, brought together the Canadian group Northern Lights for their Aid for Africa song. And that's coming up. And after Brian Adams, uh, we think we should have the Beach Boys. Now, we have this rundown of all these stars, but so far, none of them are coming out in the order they're supposed to. <laughs> we so have, if we get we it wrong, hey, it's not our fault. <laughs> Don't blame us. We'll be back after a short commercial break. Hey, Stadium in Philadelphia with Vancouver's Rockula from Canada. For John's sake, there we go. Tears are not enough for that one. Well, the song is not as good as uh, the American and British version anyway, so I'm not missing too much. No, actually, Jeez. it's a good song. No, it's, it's really too bad we've missed that, missed that one out. That was Brian Adams, and I have here another 
Telex that we've gotten from Actually, our news, yeah. news yes, department. Yes, we both have some Telex. Yes, so I'll read out my one first. Okay. Now, this one uh, is talking about how many countries around the world are receiving this huge rock concert. Now, according to the BBC, they organize the TV feeds via satellite. They believe that at least 160 countries are receiving uh, this uh, massive concert telethon. However, at the very last minute, they were so overwhelmed with requests from various other countries, they believe it's probably much more than 160 countries. And early reports said that China was also going to be uh, showing, showing this. However, the U.S. network ABC in Philadelphia said that apparently China will not be receiving this program. Uh -huh. Well, my telex here is about the tickets for the uh, show. Now, tickets for the JFK show originally sold for $35 and $50 a piece, but scalpers are said to be asking as much as $150. My goodness, making that's, money out of all this, aren't they? That's and not crazy. necessarily for Ethiopia. No, no. Well, <laughs> it's certainly not, not for Ethiopia at all. Um, uh, it's, our monitors are still flashing on and off, so it's obvious that the Martians are having a little bit of fun with our satellites out there. So I'll just give you an, uh, a little bit of a lineup on who, who else will come on if our satellite comes back on to us. Coming up um, after 12 right now, well, Brian Adams still has a couple songs to go, and then hopefully we'll have the Beach Boys. Julian Lennon still hasn't made it on for some reason. I'm uh -huh. not sure why. And then we have uh, Dire Straits, followed by uh, English uh, group Thompson Twins. That should be interesting. And then Queen. You know, Queen has the, the, the lead singer with the big teeth, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, people, some people called up after on Solid Gold when I was mentioning about a Queen video that came on. I said, and the lead singer has these great big teeth, and a rather irate a representative of one of, the, uh, one of the record companies here in Hong Kong called up and said, he does not have big teeth. <laughs> so I suppose I should apologize for that at some point. I think at this point we should also like to remind the audience that around uh, 4 a.m. is all Hong Kong's favorite groups, like uh, we have Wham and Madonna and Paul McCartney, and we've got Tom Petty and the Cars, Kenny Loggins, Rick Springfield, mm -hmm. oh, a but you whole must have, now, now, the reason why in Hong Kong we're not getting these until 3 or 4 a.m. in the morning is simply because, you see, that's prime time. In England. Right, over there, and so that's when they've got all their young people watching. So uh, why not stay up for a slumber party here, and at 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning we'll get all the hottest groups from Hong Kong. Also, one more thing is Phil Collins, whom we saw earlier performing with Sting, performing very well, I might add, mm -hmm. without any backup people, just himself on the piano. He made one little small flub. But what he's, he's doing a special favor for the rock concert, and he's flying via Concorde right now to ac across the Atlantic back to, to the American side in Philadelphia, and he will put on a concert there, too. Mm. So, I oh, think, I think our satellite is okay now. So let's go back to the JFK Stadium. Oh, Hi, we're back. Well, we have to take a little uh, chance here for Keith to do some explaining of himself. Our <laughs> PR department called down and said, Keith, Keith, we have all these irate Canadians on the phone. They're very insulted that you don't think that the Canadian song by Northern Lights is very good. Well, I'm terribly sorry if you took offense at that, but um, let me first explain that I know Brian Adams personally, you see. Aha, uh -huh, big star. <laughs> Because before he got his start, he used to play in my brother's nightclub in Vancouver. So before you go on to your friends and say, that lousy American Keith Kwan or that lousy British Keith Kwan is insulting our own countrymen, you can say, that lousy Canadian Keith Kwan is insulting Brian Adams. <laughs> so there, I'm very sorry if you took offense. Don't be offended. It's not worth it. Right, now we're shortly going to go to a commercial break. And after that, you can look forward to uh, a group called U2. And then there, we'll follow Wembley Stadium in London with the guy who calls himself Albert Collins and the group U2. Oh dear. Anyway, this is an opportunity for us to thank some callers. Now, just now uh, we received, our PR department received some calls from irate listeners complaining about Keith's personal comments about uh, Canada. Well, well, the Canadian song actually. What well, it was, no. Uh, what? We're, what? We're getting something funny here? No, what it was was not a personal comment. It was Keith trying to cover up a satellite. For the, for the lack of satellite we had. And anyway, we Obviously received... taken out of context. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we received uh, <sighs> some more phone calls from viewers who say they know we're having a hard time, and they're behind us all the way, and uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of Keith and myself, thank you very, very much. And uh, right now we're going to go to a short commercial break. And that's Dire Straits. Now, uh, Keith and I again would like to thank callers who are calling up 
to tell us that they're giving us our full support. Thank you very, very much. And, uh, but we have to make special mention of a lot of them because the, the whole rush of phone calls in the past <laughs> half hour telling Keith to buck up. Okay, we have to thank Julie and all her friends who are having a big slumber party watching mm -hmm. the show. We have to thank Susanna and his sister Irene. We have to thank Carmen and Michael Wong. We have to thank Evan and his friends out of Disney Road. And, um, in Buffalo. Okay, we, ha we can't mention the rest, but thank you all very much for your calls. And it's an honor for Deborah and I to be presenting this show to the people of Hong Kong, and we are very happy to be here. And we hope you'll stay with us because there's lots of big, big bands coming up like... That's right. We've got Queen and Thompson Twins. And a caller called up just now and wanted to know when they could see The Who. The Who will be on about 3 o'clock in the morning, so look out for that. But this right is a historic now, reunion of The Who, too. That's right. But right now, I think we're going to go to a commercial break. Stay with us. In a short while, we'll be joining Thompson Twins in the Wembley Stadium in England. Right, and uh, we'd just like to thank the generous benefactors who brought food to the Fun Park <laughs> Studio gates. Because Deborah and I are sitting here munching away on food. Now, coming up in just a short while, we're going to be having... Uh, well, who's coming up? Thompson Twins. And then later on tonight, we have Spandau Ballet. We have an intro with New, uh, Neil Young again, Paul McCartney, uh, The Pretenders, and lots, lots more. Is mm, it time to go But my eyes caught the tape, so let's go straight to the tape and see what's on. Hi. Well, once again, we'd like to thank all of you for calling into our PR department, but please hold off on the calls because we have five people on the phones and they cannot handle the volume of phone calls coming in. But thank you for calling in with your comments and support and so on. And we'd like to thank the special visitors from the Vancouver Trade Commission who, Trade Mission who also called in uh, who are appreciating the show. Thank you. Now, also, for those of you who want to send in money, here is the correct address to send it into. Not here at TVB, but... Live Aid Foundation, it's supered up on your television screen there, P.O. Box 7800, San Francisco, California, zip code 94120, USA. Now, I have some information here. Now, for those of you, any of you who missed the show earlier on this evening or didn't tape it or would like to see parts of it again, well, tomorrow evening at 7.30 right here on The Pearl, we'll bring you highlights of it, and it will be hosted by Alan James Jewell. So look out for that one, won't you? But uh, right now, I think, let's go back to the uh, satellite live show and see what's happening, okay? Are the Thompson Twins coming on or not? We don't know. Let's find <laughs> out. Okay. Whoa! can I say? Is that hot? Oh, Fantastic. Freddie Mercury's got a new fan, me. <laughs> Didn't you like him before? Um, you like him better now. Now, that's yes, right. That's what, <laughs> don't offend anybody, okay? <laughs> okay, um, now coming up next, we're going to be having David Bowie and Mick Jagger, who'll be singing together. Now, I think that's on tape, but it could be live from either Wembley or Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And we have lots of other people. Also, we were speculating, Julian Lennon hasn't come on yet, so we're wondering, maybe he's going to be the one who will sing the song Imagine. Remember the John Lennon song, Imagine There's No Heaven? Mm -hmm. Which is that a perfect a song nice for this treat. kind of a thing, yeah. Oh, we have one more PR thing. P PR still calling down <laughs> and relaying all the phone calls we're getting and uh, a certain bunch of funny, funny people who claim to be representing a certain uh, African country say that they like the show too and they would like us to say hello. So hello to uh, that group as well. And thank you for the rest of you for calling in, but please try and hold off on the calls because our PR people are really handling all the calls they can, but it's very, very difficult. But thank you for watching, mm -hmm. and... Right now, we go to a commercial break. Welcome back. Yes, well, it's time for us to go back to our satellite thing as, as soon as the picture comes in clearly. Mm. Um, we have people calling in who have been... Uh, saying, you know, this whole music telethon thing is, is just a load of commercial self-hype for the <laughs> entertainment business. Well, you can look at it that way and be rather cynical. On the other end, you can look at it on the, in the fact that um, how else are we going to raise this kind of money for Africa? I mean, do people normally just walk down the street and say, okay, I'll give a hundred dollars towards... This is, this is probably the best way. Mm. So what... Sorry, we're getting a... Excuse us one second here. We're getting a we're getting a thing. All okay, right. so now I think uh, we are going to receive some satellite and go straight back to uh, David Bowie and uh, Mick Jagger. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's Simple Minds. All right, let's go and have a look. Let's go take a look now. Okay, it's David Bowie and Mick Jagger. Hi, welcome back to more of Live Aid. Now we're not sure 
who's up next? But well, we'll soon find out. As this is a live show, anything could happen. But uh, it could be David Bowie. Now, speaking of David Bowie, Keith, um, now you know how David Bowie is famous for having one green eye and, and one, one blue gr eye? Is it blue or gray? I think it's blue or He's got green. two different colored oh, eyes. Oh. Well, anyway, he's admitted to a certain magazine that actually one is a contact lens, a colored contact lens. Oh, how disappointing. What a clever thing, though. <laughs> But, but only people with, with non-brown eyes can do that, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah that's right. Oh, well, but uh, it's still a very uh, new gimmicky idea, isn't it? We can't try that, though. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, since we don't know who's coming up next, we do know who might be coming up later on. Uh, as we said, uh, historical reading of The Who, Santana, Elton John, these are all coming up within the next hour and a half, two hours. Mm. And then that's Wham! Really and Paul McCartney from London as well. Mm -hmm. And our... We're back. Okay, so back to satellite broadcast. And if you didn't... Hi, our satellite broadcast is back now, and uh, are we going straight to it, Deborah? Yes, this is what uh, this whole concert is all about. Very touching, this one. Whoops, <laughs> Deborah's gone out to make a phone call, so I'll... Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, another slight technical problem, so we're going to intro into a short break, and when we come back, we hope that we'll have our satellite feedback again. I'm back. Oh, well, you're back a little bit too late. Um, you see what happened. It was not a satellite problem. We, were, we thought maybe the, the London satellite had gone in the blink or had been hit by a, by a moon rock or something. No, no, no. Apparently, plugs got pulled at the Wembley Stadium, and the entire Wembley Stadium lost its electricity. And so they flashed back to Melissa Manchester and, and George, George Siegel, Siegel. And the two of them were like, oh, oh, we're on. So if you think that we look like the pair of Hong Kong fools, you can see how poor Melissa Manchester and George Siegel are handling it. With great humor, I might add, but apparently their teleprompter, you see, they have teleprompters and cue cards, we don't. And uh, even their teleprompter went out of order. Mm -hmm. So the two of them are, they're telling family jokes and talking about the weather and gosh, so what else. in fact, the uh, hosts all around the world are having just as hard a time as we are trying to find things to talk about. So please bear with <laughs> all of us. I think, is our satellite feed back on again? I think we can go back to Melissa Manchester. Oh no, the Who's coming on. Great. Hi, welcome back. Hope you're still watching with us. Yeah, the Santana segment was kind of long, but, <laughs> but stay with us because the really hot acts are coming up now in our ninth and tenth hour. Elton is coming John, up Elton John, Wham, and Wham, Madonna, Madonna and Paul, Paul McCartney, McCartney will give the finale from London. <gasps> and so right now going on is a dedication from the Norwegian singing star. Let's take a look at that now, shall we? Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Well, I certainly enjoyed the uh, duet of uh, Elton John and George Michael. Oh, she's being so polite. I certainly enjoyed <laughs> I Deborah, loved Deborah, it. I loved it. Going, oh, God, look at it. Oh, God. I loved it. <laughs> yeah, no, but, but George Michael is, is an amazingly versatile and talented young fellow. Deborah says he's 21. He's only 21 just years 21. old. And he's just so big now. And he's got so much ahead of him. Isn't it amazing, Keith? And, and did you hear the way he sang that Elton John song? He sang it at least as well as Elton John. <laughs> and his voice in live concert is beautiful. It never breaks. He never has any problems hitting the notes. He's a good performer. He's, he's real. I hope nothing bad happens to him because in the years to come, he'll produce the most fantastic pop music, I'm mm -hmm. sure, I'm sure. And if the concert goes according to schedule, it's either Wham! coming up next or it could be Madonna. So or it could be Wham! and Madonna, who knows? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, now let's go back to the uh, satellite program and see what they've got lined up for us. Well, that was it for the London finale. Deborah and I had we had lumps in our throat here <laughs> listening to the sing feed the world. We're like, oh God, that's so emotional. It was beautiful. And and the, uh, what George Michael, the I'm entire crowd. George around. Michael just stole my heart. That's the one Deborah's watching, but the rest <laughs> was pretty wonderful too. And it's too bad about the microphones would keep going out on on uh, Paul McCartney. Yeah, what singing, a shame. Singing, let it be, yeah. As he hasn't sung live for, yeah. what, six years? There seemed to be quite a bit of problems with the whole Wembley Stadium thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's hope that the rest of the Philadelphia broadcast goes smoothly and we don't miss any superstars. And they will be... That's right. Now, for the next hour, you can see Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, mm -hmm. uh, Kenny Loggins, Rick Springfield, The Cars, and an um, interview with Bob Geldof, Neil Young, and so forth. But right now, let's go to Tom Petty and The Cars. Now, Deborah, what is the name of Tom Petty and? The Heartbreakers, not Tom Petty and Deborah the Cars. Was, she was about to invent pop history. <laughs> Let's go to Tom Petty and the Cars. 
Right, let's but talk it's, about hey, that. Deborah's been up all night, all night. She's taken no nap, so she is forgiven that. Okay, idiot paper away. Good. Now, don't go away because we have lots more big people coming up. Besides mm. all the big rock acts, we have lots of non-musical personalities and world celebrities who will be endorsing Live mm. Aid for Africa. People yet to appear are former American President Jimmy Carter, Desmond Tutu, who is a South African bishop, winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. We have the Indian Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, Soviet poet Yevtushenko, and we have soccer star Pele. And also, coming up in the what hour? In the 12th hour, there's an unannounced act, which will take about 14 minutes. Now, people say maybe it's Julian Lennon, maybe it's somebody like that. But I have a suspicion, uh, we, we all do, we were told just from upstairs now, that it could be the space shuttle, which is currently orbiting around us, will link up with the concert in Philadelphia, so we'll see about that. Mm, but that's not confirmed, but we'll soon find out. But right now, we've received satellites, so let's go back to uh, Philadelphia. We gotta try it on. Okay, um, another big boo-boo time. <laughs> Keith's spreading rumors about the space shuttle linking up with the concert. Well, apparently, we were just told from our control panel that, Keith, we don't think that the space shuttle ever even took off. It had technical difficulties as well. So, I guess, um, our surprise guest, ah, but Alan James Jewell tells the surprise guest may well be Michael Jackson and the Jacksons, so that could be happening. Hopefully. And Yes, hopefully. And Phil Collins has just arrived right, in Philadelphia, Philadelphia, and he'll be doing the concert soon. What mm -hmm. else do we have to say, Deborah? I think now we can go back to the satellite and join Marilyn McCoo. Oh, not yet. Oh, not no, yet. Not yet. Satellite says it's not right. Okay, we'll talk okay. a bit more. Okay, now, um, what, what's happening right now on the satellite feedback is Marilyn McCoo is trying to fill time just as we are. <laughs> They've got Marilyn McCoo, former host of Solid Gold, and she's talking with the current director of Solid Gold, and they're, they're, they're chatting about their families and the things uh -huh. they do. And so instead of having us fill time, let's make the American host fill the time, All okay? Right, let's, let's go to Marilyn <laughs> McCoo. We've been on it, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Good morning. Keith, you know, if that was Robert Plant during the Power Station uh, segment yeah. just now, my goodness, he looks so different from the videos that we've seen of the Power Station song. It's the difference of makeup, I think. No, I wouldn't have recognized him. I think it's the guy. influence of Duran Duran's long hair. I mean, he's growing his hair. He looks really different. Well, what's, what's happening now? On the, well, could it, could it be Sally Field on our Again? <laughs> it's like, whoa, she is on constantly. I don't know. Right now, it seems that the Jeff Bridges is making a, a sort of a, a flower child speech. I'm not sure. And he lost his speech, so he has to pull out his cue cards as well. Mm. Um, what more? Why don't we talk about, what we should talk about is the organization who are... Uh, in charge of all of this. Um, they are the same organization that put together the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics Committee, mm. and they've done all the, all the publicity and everything entirely for free. So I guess they're the, probably the only organization in the world that could handle an event of this size. True. Yeah, and uh, yeah. this is, in fact, even more difficult to organize than the Olympics. Because it involves satellites from so many countries mm -hmm. and so many different things. Like, just for example, the American uh, uh, a stadium alone, JFK Stadium, involves 20 cameras, a production crew of 250 who are on hand in the stadium, and with at least, what is it, 12 directors. Mm. So that's only one stadium, not including Austria, Norway, uh, the huge Wembley Stadium, Japan, all around the world. But the estimate on money to be raised vary from 25 million US to 50 million. Now that is a lot of money. So well worth it, all the people participating mm, in that. That's right. Okay, I think let's go back to Jeff Bridges now, giving and his see how announcement. he's uh, handling all this. Yeah. He's also performed for very... Good morning again. Yes. And once again, the phone calls are starting again at the PR department upstairs. And PR said, please remind our audience that we are not equipped to receive donations here at TV. And most of all, do not hand them out to people wearing TVB uniforms. Apparently on broadcast drive, people are walking with money. Here, this is for private. Please, do not do that. There is an address that is specially done for uh, the donations for Live Aid for Africa. And that is the flip card that is on right now. I'll read it out to you once again. That is the Live Aid Foundation, P.O. Box 7800, San Francisco, California. Very important in the, in the U.S. is the zip code, which is 94120 USA. Please, we are not equipped to receive, to receive donations here at the studio and uh, no TVB employee either. 
Coming right, up next Keith, is I who? I think we have the satellite now, and it's Ario Speedwagon. Okay. Good morning, and as you can see, Keith and I have changed. Fresh Yay! clothes, man, after 14 <laughs> hours. Okay, um, we've had all kinds of celebrities making appeals. We had Pelé, famous Brazilian soccer star, uh, what, all kinds of Pulitzer Prize winners and so on. And now let's go straight back to our Live Aid for Africa appeal. Oh, right, we're not quite ready yet. not ready yet. So for those of you who missed some of our earlier performers, let's give you a recap, shall you? Shall we now? Shall you? Shall we? <laughs> shall, shall we? Shall we? Never right. go. Now, at uh, 1 o'clock, we had Dyer Stray. Oh, now I've got a signal that says we can go to... All my life on the football soccer. I traveling all over the world. I meet people. I have see different kind of life. And I swear, right now, 13 million people are in the balance in Africa. Let's help those people. If we help them, we will be the greatest victory of the humanity. This will be our World Cup. Let's pray together and help the people in Africa. Well, thank you. You know, there is so much confusion involved in doing a live <laughs> show, don't you think so? You it's, and I are talking back and forth. It's and okay. It's because of all the different satellite link-ups we have, and Hong Kong's linked up with Austria, and then London, and then Philadelphia. <laughs> so now, Deborah, please continue with the people that were on last night that you might have missed because you were sleeping. Thank you. Now, during the seventh hour, at one o'clock, it was uh, Dire Straits, followed by Queen. At two o'clock, we had uh, The Pretenders and Paul McCartney, and we had Kenny Loggins and uh, Rick Springfield. But right now, I think we can link back up with the satellite, so let's go straight back to the Going on right now are Marilyn McCoo, Grace Slick, with Kenny Loggins. My wife and I have been concerned with it for a while. <laughs> You know, because this is a live show, we're not quite sure what's going to happen, but could it be Sally, Sally Field again? again? No. no, it's former U.S. President Jimmy Carter. This is Jimmy Carter. My main goal in working for human rights, peace in the Middle East, and nuclear arms control was to help my generation leave the world a better place than we found. I grew up on a farm during the Great Depression. And I saw the human spirit. Well, that was a little bit of uh, Sally, Sally Field, Field there, but primarily <laughs> that was former U.S. President Jimmy Carter in an appeal. Uh -huh. But right now, let's join Phil Collins, Robert Plant, and Jimmy Page. Well, here we are back again. And, and, you know, as the, as the hours drag on, we start to be amused by all the technical difficulties that are happening. <laughs> Uh, because while you were into your break, we were watching uh, the American hosts, Grace Slick, desperately trying, trying to call in uh, the Japanese telecast, which was coming. She was going, Japan? Japan, Japan. Japan you're late. Hello. Hello. And she went on and on and on. Anyway, the Japanese groups are finally coming back in. But, Deborah, do you have any information to give us? I was going to say that f everything has been filmed in UK and the US backstage and on stage, right? But no plans have been made as to what's going to be done with the footage, but of course they're not going to throw it away. So no. maybe something will be done. A movie I think there or will be a television special put out. Also, probably a record will be put out of the entire concert. So, mm. or the highlights anyway. Mm. Okay, let's go to Japan and a group called of Endless course. Nights. Of course, Endless Nights? A song's called Endless Nights. Good morning, we're back. And while you were in your break, we were watching, um, another celebrity make an appeal for money and this man was uh, the head of one of the top divisions of the United Nations and it's obvious we're not the only ones who are dizzy from who are, who are dizzy from 14 hours because uh, he said hello my name is Brad Morris and I'm the head of <laughs> such and such division so we're not the only ones who are going to lose our concentration oh one yeah, more right. one more thing is we have to make the appeal is please do not send money into TVB there is an address a flip card which will come up on your screen telling you the correct address to send money to if you wish to do so that's a San Francisco address not a Hong Kong address mm. now I'm getting a, a signal here from the satellite now we're going straight to Duran Duran finally <laughs> Good 
Good morning, Hong Kong, and what a way to wake up to the pearl with our live broadcast of Live Aid, direct from Philadelphia. In the past hour, we have had how many top acts, Deborah? Oh, many, many, many. Yes, we've had Duran Duran, we've had Phil Collins. Ashwood and Simpson. Robert Plant, and of course, the great, fantastic Patti LaBelle. If you were watching her, she, she just demolished the entire stage, including her microphone. <laughs> and her shoes. Yes, and her shoes, and everything. She's fan, fan, fantastic. And she sang over the rainbow, like... Judy Garland probably could never imagine to have been sung, huh? Mm, that's right. Who's up, who's up now? I can't tell. Is our satellite back? It's back. Deborah, can you uh, see okay. who it is? I'm not sure what exactly down. going on. Yeah. Why don't we go ahead and I just wanted to finish. Very good. That was Paul and Oates. Well, um, our live broadcast to you now will stop at 10 o'clock or 10 o'clock thereabouts. Mm -hmm. However, the actual satellite broadcast continues until 11 o'clock this morning. Don't fret, because that last hour will be broadcast tonight, starting at 7.30, and it'll go until 11. That'll not only be the last hour of this huge telephone broadcast, but some highlights of the show as well, another two hours of highlights. Mm -hmm. So lots to look forward That's to. Right. If you want to see the best parts of this telephone, tune in again tonight at 7.30. Now, one more thing also. Once again, please do not call our switchboard here asking if you can send us money to TVB. We're not equipped for that. However, there is an address that you can send money to, should you wish, preferably U.S. money orders. And the address is right here on your screen. It's Live Aid Foundation, P.O. Box 7800, San Francisco, California, zip code 94120, USA. That's right, but now we're going to go and continue with Japanese Hour. Today's the first day, the first time for the return of Japanese Hour. I'm Deborah Moore. I'm Keith Kwan. We're very honored to host, to host Live Aid from Africa. Exclusively here on The Pearl. And we hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for being with us all night. Goodbye. Live Aid for Africa was co-sponsored by Singapore Airlines and Kodak. <laughs>